Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Wasim Heather and I'm a professor of mechanical and materials engineering at Central Michigan University. In this video, I'll be giving you some tips on how to apply for a master's or a PhD program in the U.S. universities. Remember that you have to have a 16 years of education, whether it's a four years bachelor's degree or a two years bachelor's and two years of master's degree, then you can directly apply into a PhD program. So every time when you're gonna be applying for the admission in the US, the first step is to select the university. There are different criteria to select a university such as ranking, faculty reputation, research facilities, scholarships and fellowships, and location. Let's look at ranking first. There are different websites where you can see the ranking of the universities or the departments such as QS ranking or US News ranking. So at this point, I would recommend you to select 10 to 15 universities where you want to apply. Then go ahead and spend some time to review the university department or the program web pages. Make yourself familiar with the department requirements, admission requirements, or learn more about the research facilities they have. Also, review professors' web pages. If you have any general questions, then contact the graduate program officers. And if you have a specific questions about a particular lab, then you can go ahead and contact professors as well. In general, every time when you contact a professor, make sure you write a brief intro about yourself, maybe a couple lines, and tell them that you are interested in their research and ask them if they are looking for a master's or PhD student. Make sure you can attach a resume. Remember, the professors are usually busy. You may not get a reply right away, but if your application is right and particular professors like your resume, then he or she may ask you to apply. Once you receive a few positive responses, go to the admission website and make yourself familiar with all the items which you need to complete the application. A lot of times you need a completed application form, statement of purpose, transcripts or mark sheets, resumes, standardized scores such as GRE, GMAT, Pilots or TOEFL, letter of recommendation, and an application fee. Remember, some universities are waiving their application fee, so you can always contact them and ask them if they can waive your application fee. So one of the most important thing in your application packet is the statement of purpose. Statement of purpose is usually about two pages long document where you should mention about your personal and educational background, about your professional experience and achievements, your short and long-term goals, and in any scholarly work you have done, such as papers, conference presentations, posters, or patents, any special projects which you have worked on, and also give the reasons that why are you particularly interested in this field, program, or even the institution. And last but not the least, make sure you mention about extracurricular activities and interests and hobbies. So now let's talk about some of the standardized exams, such as GRE or GMAT and the English proficiency exams such as TOEFL or IELTS. GRE has three main sections and these sections are quantitative which is a math section, verbal which is an English section and analytical reasoning which is a writing section. And as far as the scores are concerned, so quantitative is 170, verbal is also 170 and analytical is out of 6.0. Also remember the validity of GRE is five years so you can take GRE as many times as you want and you can take it as early as possible. Similarly, when we talk about English proficiency exams such as IELTS or TOEFL, the four main sections in these tests are reading, writing, listening, and speaking. So in IELTS, each of these sections is between zero and nine bands. Most of the times you require at least 6.5 band or higher to get into a graduate school. Also remember the validity for the TOEFL or IELTS score is only two years. So you should take these exams one to two months before the application deadline. Usually one to two months after your application submission, you should receive an email from a graduate program officer or from a graduate school that you got a scholarship. In general, the scholarship in the U.S. includes full tuition fee waiver and a monthly stipend of $1,800 up to $2,800. Most of the schools would pay for your medical insurance and some schools would pay for your travel support if you go to the conferences and present your research work. Thank you very much for listening to me. Hope you have a great day.